In this video, I'm going to show how to air layer branches. You put soil in a little ball of tinfoil and it will root out and you can create new plants. I've done this a few times so far and I like the tinfoil technique. I've tried, the first one was with a plastic bag and it was very difficult and awkward. I used some Reynolds wrap aluminum foil and I cut little strips three inches by six inches. So I pick a branch use this one right here I'm gonna trim off this leaf and where I cut that leaf off is where the tinfoil is gonna go and I kind of make a funnel I wrap it around it and it looks like a little funnel I have this little tray of twist ties and I wrap it around the bottom And I get a little scoop of soil, sprinkle it into the little funnel, pack the soil in there a little bit, and then close up the tinfoil, but leave a little opening at the top. I take a second twist tie wrap it around the top so it essentially makes a tiny little container around the branch and tomatoes root very easily so roots will form inside this little ball of soil and about once a day I'll come through to all my little air layering pots and moisten the soil inside the tin foil. I noticed the sun was getting the tin foil really hot so I wrapped some white rags. Same thing with the plastic bag. It was really hot to the touch but now that I put this white piece of fabric over it it seems to cut down on the heat. I also put some on these Mountain Magic tomatoes. It's good to put them, pick a branch that's kind of in the shade so the sun doesn't cook the little tinfoil pots. Here I'm gonna do some on a fig tree. This is called Celeste Fig. Trim that little leaf off. I pick some branches in the center shade that still have green stems. I also did two branches of my grapevines. This is a box elder bush and I'm also going to try this one. We got three little tin foil spots. So now we wait. Okay, it's 2 weeks later and this Mountain Magic air layer pot, you can see roots coming out of the soil. So I'm going to remove this branch. I'm going to cut it right behind the tin foil. Here you can see the little mass of roots.
Here's the Cupid grape tomato branch. You can see all the little roots developing. So I put the plants in the shade and I make sure to keep them nicely watered. Okay, it's two days later and these have instantly perked up. So that air layering technique really does work good. Here's another tomato plant and you can see the roots formed in the soil. So here's the one that I did in a plastic bag. And if you look closely, you can see a bunch of roots. Since this was in a plastic bag, I wasn't able to water it. But there's the roots right there. So here are the air layered tomato plants. They are two weeks old since I cut them off from the plant. Altogether, they're four weeks old since I put the tinfoil and soil on the branches. This was so successful, I'm definitely going to be doing this every year. It's September 20th, and I've put the tinfoil on here 10 weeks ago. Let's see if there's any roots. No roots. No roots. So the box elder bush failed. Now let's take a look at the grape vines. No roots. I also tried it on this crepe myrtle. And I also tried it on this, I guess it's a holly bush. No roots. Okay, here's the Celeste fig. And I've taken a peek and it looks like there's some roots. So I did these two branches. And you can see all the roots. Same with this one right here. So I'm gonna trim the branch off. Here's the two fig branches and the root balls. And I'm going to plant them into the dirt. And here I've put them in partial shade so they don't stress out in full sunlight. And I'll wait a while to see if these perk up and survive. It's been three days. I brought them inside because the weather's been kind of cold. But this one instantly perked up. This one looks like it's going to survive. And this one instantly wilted, and it looks like this one might not make it. But I'll wait a few more days and do another update. Okay, it's been one week since I cut these off the fig tree, and I had 50% success rate. I've got one that has survived, and then one of them has died. 
So next year I'm going to do this a whole bunch because these figs are some of my favorite things. Thank you.